Welcome to Women's Watch Show. Here we use the breakthrough moment and word of a successful woman to inspire and motivate you. We measure success not by the amount of money in the pocket, but by the effort we make on daily basics to achieve our goal. We believe that every woman has a story. So share yours with us. And my name is Clara Kumbok. So joining me today is... I need to take a break. <laughs> um, is the only woman king. Um, that, uh, that you need to know. And um, I'm struck to have met her. She's an entrepreneur. She's the founder of Tonto Dike Foundation. And she does so many amazing things. Above all things, she is an actress, a Nollywood actress that we all love on our screen. So welcome to the show, King Tonto Dike. <laughs> Thank yeah, you obviously very much. I'm really starstruck, but I'm taking it only. <laughs> you know, there are some people that you meet and you think, oh my gosh, I've known this person all my life. And that is where I think that's the feeling I'm having. <laughs> but it's an honor and um, Thank I you. appreciate it. Thank you, you so appreciate much. It. Um, mm -hmm. You honoring our invitation. So, um, first of all, the obvious question I think <laughs> most Nigerians want to know, um, because immediately after your divorce, um, not immediately, but a while after, you added King to your name. Why is that? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Now I really have to explain myself. <laughs> um, you don't have to. Uh, yeah, I really don't have to. No. True. Um, well, some things are just unexplainable. Right. You know? It's, it's about how you feel about yourself. It's about what you say you are. It's about what you conjure and you keep telling yourself that you are. Um, as long as it's not hurting anybody, yeah. I'm a king. Yeah, <laughs> the only female king. <laughs> okay, and um, I, I love that name, by the way, King Tondo. So you made it official? Yes, it's official. Wow, congrats. Thank you. So I'm gonna say, um, how good has motherhood been to oh. you <laughs> because we just say we both have i have a child as almost the same age as yours and it's been good right <laughs> it's been really good <laughs> it's been it's been so good yeah. um i think that's one positive or yeah one positive aspect of my life that i cannot trade for anything in the world oh, God. um motherhood has um changed me tremendously. I used to be a radical, like not the radical for Jesus, obviously. <laughs> I used to be a radical, radical. Like, the, the poco. Yes. Oh, yeah. You know her. <laughs> of oh, course. We all know, know poco. <laughs> yeah, I used, to, I used to be a lot of things. Yeah. But motherhood, having to be responsible for a child, another human being. And sometimes I just lay down and I say to myself, what am I leaving behind for this boy? A few dollars in the account few connections here here and there, yeah. good love. You know, motherhood, I, I, I don't think I naturally would say that I have loved 100% before, but it's, the, the love I feel from being a mother has opened my eyes to a lot of things. I never used to identify with a lot of crisis. I never used to identify with other people's pains. Right. I never used to identify with their struggles. I know that I, I'm a very good person. I love to help people, but I would just help you for let me help you. That it's, I know. You know, but being a mother, it, it opened my, it opened me to feel. It opened to me feel. To, yes, that's the word. It opened actually. me to feel. I think that's that's what I'm yes. looking for. Absolutely, and, and uh, it's been the most amazing journey. I know, ever. I know, I said it. He always <laughs> not easy <laughs> though. <laughs> he goes everywhere with you. No, yeah, he's yeah. my handbag. <laughs> not easy. It's not been easy because no. he's a boy with so much energy. Yeah, like course. the mother boy. Do you know? Do you know what I, I like is that you say it's not easy, admitting that it's not. Easy, but no, it just energizes you yeah. in another way. Yeah, because um, some people think that it's wrong for you to admit that motherhood is actually difficult. Oh, but. Lovely, you know. It's 
It's difficult. It is. A motherhood is difficult. It's one of the most difficult things in the whole world. Yeah. And the only thing is, I do not know how God bestowed upon women the strength to carry on. It's, it's, it's a, a selfless, selfless nice. job. Yeah. And you have to always, you never stop being a mom. No. You never stop being a parent, especially a mom. So, yeah, it's something that we don't always want to admit. It's always the happy times you see on Instagram. It's always the happy times you, you hear we talk about. But, so. you know, there's a lot more we don't talk about yeah. when it comes to children, motherhood. It it's balance. It's, it's um, multitasking. It's not. trying to be who you want to be with a child in your hands. It's trying to be head in the society with the child in your hand it's and you're life. running from here. Yeah. Sometimes you're in a meeting and you, your child is, something is in happening and you have to, you, have to you know, or yeah. sometimes you're on a trip. I've, I know how many times I had to cancel a trip. Really? Like really get to my destination and fly back, back again. with the next flight because oh. I have to be there. Yeah. So it's not been easy, but it's been beautiful. And the beauty yeah. of it all makes it makes easy. Makes it easy. I think you just said it all, and a lot of women need to identify with that. Thank you so much for that. It's been interesting, but I will be right back after this break. You're welcome back again to Women's Watch Show. If you are just joining us, here we use the breakthrough moment and word of a successful woman to inspire and motivate others. And it has been an interesting one. The only female king, um, Tonto DK. Thank you so much again. And You're it's welcome. been juicy, <laughs> you leading us into your word. Um, thank you for sharing that part of you, You're the welcome. motherhood journey. And you mentioned something about feeling. And that leads me to your foundation, the Tonto DK Foundation. Um, I have to take it to, first of all, um, on International Women's Day, on the 8th, you hanged out with a lot of women, 10, <laughs> 10 of the women. Yeah, 10. Um, what inspired you to do that? Why, we, why the women? This is Women's World Show. I think that's why I'm going there. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, first of all, it was, um, the, it was a celebration for the women's, International Women's Day. So, yeah. obviously, it had to be women. Yeah. Um, um, now, the question is, why did I pick? those set of women. Mm. Um, it's because I, I do a lot of things for the community already. I do a lot of things for people. I do a lot of things for women, single motherhood. And um, sometimes we celebrate the people who we feel like cannot or don't have or physically can see, we can see that, oh, they don't have, they don't have a job. We forget to celebrate the people who are putting more effort so in actually, trying to make the, the, the society a better place. Yeah. Those women are um, pap sellers, they sell food. Without them, we wouldn't eat. No? They sell. And I love the pap. They sell charcoals. <laughs> Without them, we wouldn't cook. They sell a lot of things. So, I mean, th those, are, those were strong, or those are strong women that needed to be celebrated, that needed to, to, they needed someone like me to tell them that they're beautiful. Someone like me to tell them that and they are did. enough. They yeah. came out amazingly mm -hmm. beautiful. And Thank you, you. you. People sat down and had a wonderful meal. Yeah. It's like, I sound like a stalker, gosh. <laughs> Okay, but um, you, apart from that, you extended your hand to single women. Um, being a single mom, has that inspired you to, to do that? Oh, yes, it has. Um, like I said, be, being a mother has opened up to my feelings. Naturally, I would have seen a single mother, oh, okay, you don't have money, your child needs something, I'll give you that. But I never used to feel the pain. But now, being a single mother, it's a whole lot. It's a whole lot of tags. I know, when, I know what it is to lack. I know when, what it is to deprive yourself from a lot of things so your child will be able to have a smile on his face mm -hmm. or children will be able to have smiles on your face. I know what it is. I know the suffering that we suffer. So it's a lot different now when I try to help a single mother. I'm helping you because I know, you know I am feels. there. Yes. I feel it. But the truth is, I grew up with it. Yes. And you can. But, we and, all can. We all can. We all can. And the truth is, um, that brings me because you just mentioned you, you have been there. You started from somewhere. I'm going to take this back to Nollywood. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, that's where Tonto, yeah. <laughs> before the king, comes in. Um, you started from somewhere and um, are you still acting? Oh, well, yes. You never stop being an actor. 
Right. You know, I've never actually stopped being an actor. Like I always say, I, I love I love Nollywood. It's something that brought me to the limelight, even if it's not something that at first it was something that I love, love, love. No, I mean because the contracts from being an engineer to being an artist, for me it was yeah. an escape with out of the house, out of my state, have a different life and it turned out to be a success story. So yes, I'm still an actor, never will not be an actor, but I would not just take roles because I want to take roles. I've been there, done that, I did it too fast. I, I mean, there was no role I haven't acted. That brings me to the lion heart. I want hmm. to talk about it because... Oh I, my God, yeah. Is it, is, it's like, for me, I think it was the next level. Um, because I was sitting at home. Um, actually, I remember we were, we were in Mabea for holidays and a friend of ours, a friend of ours called and said, Oh, Clara, I just watch a Nigeria uh -huh. movie. She's a white woman, and I never uh -huh. really expect that to watch. <laughs> we just watched a Nigeria movie. I said, what's the name? She said, Lionheart. I was like, really? Did you just watch Lionheart? She said, it's so cozy it's amazing. and nice. Yeah. So do you think that's it, as in the next level? In my opinion, I think so. But is it to you? It was an amazing movie. It yeah. was a movie that I personally was proud of, and that's something that's rare. I really don't give a lot of credit to my industry, yeah. a lot of credit, because I am in it. I know how all of this thing goes, you yeah. know. It's different from when you're in it than when you're watching from outside. Right. So I know that there's a lot of changes, but it was a movie that I sat through. In almost seven years, I don't think I have seen a Nigerian movie, well, yeah. but I actually sat through it. I watched the movie, I had to rewind it, I had to pause yeah, anytime my son calls yeah. me, I had to pause anytime he needed something. Like, I didn't want to get distracted. Exactly. Now, that for me was the next level thing. Great. Because the angling of it, I was looking at it from an artist's eye. I don't know about the storyline. Exactly. I don't know about any other thing. Yeah. I was looking at it from, from um, an artist. Yes, said. the angling, the camera, yeah. the, yeah. the movement. There yeah, was movement. The, 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 oh my God, everything. Even the picture quality, it, it really was a Netflix production like it really was meant for something at the top that's what I, I think it was a beautiful movie and congratulations Jenny I would never <laughs> stop congratulating her on that yeah, she did good yeah that sounds great and she sounds like good. your marketing to well, it's, more. It's the more it actually the storyline is more than what I want yeah oh great yes. But right. this was a beautiful movie. Do you, do you want to produce yourself? Or? It, 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 it's not something Are you that thinking about it? I have done that a couple of times. Okay. Yeah, I have done that a couple of times. Because it's not now you want that, a different thing. It's not something that I, um, I, I like. Uh -huh. I just like to be an artist. But definitely, I think I would because I don't see what I want. So I think I mean, Genevieve has opened the door. She didn't see what she wanted, yeah. so she had to create what she exactly. wanted. So I think it's time for me to create what I want, what I want people to see me in so that they can respect the fact that I'm this far and I can't go that low. So, yeah. And that brings me to the going low. <laughs> I'm taking it to social media. You always direct me to the right angle because um, obviously you're a good artist. And um, social media, do you think that our Nollywood address, addresses are using their platform to motivate the upcoming actresses? Are they creating more avenue or is it, is it becoming more competitive for the young ones to actually get in? I don't get to follow a lot of them. I don't get to yeah. know how they lead their, their life or what they do, okay. if they're encouraging. Right. I just stick to me. I don't sure. have a friend in that circle. No. So it's all about work. I go, we smile, work is over, I come back home. So I don't know about what they feel how they motivate or how they empower the young the ones. ones. I know I do it and that's all that matters. Yes. I would love to know more how you get to that to. process, but I need you to grab your coffee and come on right back because it's getting very juicy here. Until then, see you soon. Hey, welcome back again to Women's Russia. It's been an interesting one with the only female king, Tonto DK. Um, when you were starting, uh, when you started acting, a lot of young women, there are a lot of aspirants who wants to become an actress or become whatever. Um, but there are people who tend to make someone feel like it's easy to start off a business. Mm -hmm. it's, it's smooth to you know, be in the next level. What's your journey? Like, aside from being, you know, when you started the Nollywood, where did you have your breakthrough? Um, and the young girl out there who is trying to become? My breakthrough came after I um, emerged the first runner-up in 
a reality TV show. Um, determination came from just not wanting to go back home, striving to, yeah. I know that. Yeah, you know, yeah. once a woman's heart is determined, there's nothing she can do. No. Um, I can't really trace back my success story, but every day has been a success, yeah. especially for my career. You know, my life personally have had ups and downs, but my career has been a smooth sailing success ever since I came into the industry. And um, some people might say, oh, she's not been on TV for a very long while. Yes, I haven't been on TV for a very long while, but I have got a personality. I have got works that have kept me in the minds of people to today. Yes. You put me beside the best artist today yeah. on TV, the best actor today on TV, put me next to the person, you won't see a lot of publicity there. You won't see a lot of comments there. And that's what we artists will live for. Yes. Whether it's negativity or it's or positivity, positivity, at the end of the day, is that I am in every mouth. I am in every TV. I just love I'm it. I'm on every platform. So whether you're talking bad about me or whether you're, you're promoting me. me, you're promoting me. No publicity is bad publicity at the end of the day. So I have not really done work professionally for a very long time. But I can tell you, I am one of the most relevant, still very relevant <laughs> artists you know, living. That reminds me what I was saying. How did that happen? <laughs> I still don't know how that happened. That, that, that reminds me of what I was saying because I was about to ask you, how did you came to happened. the point of being, being, understanding, having this confidence? You, you, when you have been through a lot, when you know where you have been and know where you're going to and know who you serve. I am born again, by the way. Yes. My confidence comes at the fact that no man can do nothing to me that God has not said would happen. Yeah. Bad things might happen to me on the way, that's to test my faith. Yeah. But it does not mean that God said, whatever you said was gonna happen to that girl would happen, yeah. no. So my belief in God gives me so much confidence, that's for one. Secondly, I'm damn beautiful. Wow. Thirdly, I've got a great body. Fourth, I've got money. Um. Fifth, I use my platform to help all the people, not just selfish with it for myself. So all of these qualities about myself make me a very bold woman. Confidence, top notch. <laughs> I wish a lot of women would sit down and express themselves, you introduce themselves. I actually in that wish way. a lot of women would love themselves because it comes from loving yourself. It is. It has to. But I want to ask you, I don't know, a little bit, if you want to answer it, of course, the fuse. Um, between you and Macy Johnson, um, oh. but I've seen, I must also comment that, I've seen that there have been more interaction, positive interaction between you two. Um, Is that certain? Well, or? that was in the past. Yeah. Um, I would actually say it was actually a very healthy competition. She was actually a competition. She's you good. you never she was like she's, she's no, good. she's not she was not good. She is good. Yeah. Um, as an artist you always have a competition. No. So I wouldn't say it was um, a beef or a quarrel. Right. I think it was just two children having a very healthy competition. Um, although she was more mature than I am at that period because she's been through a lot of life than I did at that right. time. Yeah. Um, she was more of the adult, so yeah. she, she handled it better than I did. I was still a child, I didn't know <laughs> nothing. So yeah, I, I handled it like a big fool. <laughs> yeah, but um, today I would, I would say she's, she's a wonderful person. And I, I, I would always say it, she's amazing. Actually still the only artist I still dread. Wow. Probably. Wow. <laughs> yes. And I'm very good. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm a good no, actor. No, you you're a good actor. I'm a good actor. You so are, but if I, I fear yeah. an actor. <laughs> you're a good actor, but... Um, she's good. That's why yes. I give it to her. She's good. Yes. Yeah. It, it's, it's quite funny because I just love the way you admit your faults. And you've grown up so much. Jeez. You have to. You, so you have much. To. You have to admit and you have to move forward. That's the only thing that makes me sleep well at night because I've done a lot of things that, you know, I can't even be proud of myself. Mm -hmm. You know, having a child and I tell, and I tell myself, you know, my son is actually going to read a lot of things. Those are wrong. <laughs> those are right. Those are yeah. manipulated. Those are upside down. You know, but the only strength I strive in is that I grew above it all. And if I grew above it all, I was the bigger person at the end of the yeah. day. 
Because yeah. at the end of the day, it's growth. It's growth. the fact that you can't repeat the same mistake again. Again, yeah. It's the fact that you've done it and you can now make other people see that I've done it. You don't have to do it. So this your your foundation, the NGO, yeah. um, you do it just on your own, or do you have like sponsors that work with you? So, um, for the you past 10, 10 to eleven years, I have not had a sponsor. I have been doing it on my own, financially, wow. on my own. Yeah, that's um, yes, but um, say from last year to this year, yeah. I have seen tremendous change because a lot of people are knowing that you know I'm putting in the work for real. And You're actually using yes, it for, for yes, yeah. you know. So um, I think then I think why people did not key into my vision then was because I didn't have a lot. I was not so strong on. Um, oh, I didn't know the power of social media, or I didn't use the power of social media because when you do things like this, you need to put it out there. People would think, oh, you're, you're showing helping. off what yes, you're doing. You're helping so many people. You're mm -hmm. showing off. No, people need to donate because if I keep using my own money <laughs> to do that. I too will go broke. Yes. I will become the homeless person that I'm trying to help. Exactly. So it's just that we need people to donate and also showing the fact that other people have actually donated and this is what we use the money for. Yes. Nobody has time to come and brag that you did something for a homeless person. I mean, if I do something for a millionaire, yeah. I will come out and brag about it because he has a long money and I'm trying my best to meet up there and do something as big. It's, it's actually no honor physically helping a poor person yeah. because you are put there to do that. Yeah. She can help you. They can help you. And we all came from this. I, I did. Let me, yeah. let me start with me. I did. So oh, I, I just yeah. think that helping people, it's just a hard thing. It's, it's, mm. it's nothing more than that. Okay, awesome. Because um, I just I love the way you acknowledge all those work that you mm -hmm. do and still are doing obviously you shouldn't go broke <laughs> because then you would should, I hope then there I would not, no you won't because then you will not be like the poor people that you're you trying know? to help you know we we are trying to build a society that is stable and um, reach out to many people yeah. as much as we can Possibly. one woman at a time one child at a time it saves a lot um the last question about your king your, your little king um <laughs> <laughs> the how is it like being a celebrity mom at the school where he goes to? Are there celebrity moms as well? Um, because the challenge of trying to be normal mom... I, I, I think know. other people see us as a celebrity more than we see ourselves. Right. I think people just are lost with the fancy, the Instagram. That's not my life. What I post on Instagram is not my daily life. Because I'm not telling you how broke I can be sometimes. I'm not telling you how much I cry at night sometimes. I'm not telling you how many times I have been to the hospital because I felt like my son was going to die sometimes. You know, it's, it's more than that. I'm just a simple girl who just want to leave. So you relate with other moms? Yeah, I do. Don't you say, oh, I do, I do. When, when I we were running on the track. Brother. I try as much as possible to even set the pace for other mothers to not feel like, you know what, oh, I'm too busy for my child. If I'm not too busy for my child, I'm there at every... Actually, only one time I have missed an event. Only one time in the life of my son I have missed an event. And he's been in school for over two and a half years. So... I mean, it's. It's, it's I don't that you are see, very yes. engaging. It's, I think it's you, you that see me as what I am. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. just. Like I, I said, I don't I, live that life. Yeah, I grew up seeing you in this bigger picture, yeah. and um, that's, that's why it's, we, I think it will not clear because you are who you are, and you have that um, charisma that people will always admire, or I oh, do. Thank you. Some, or not <laughs> everybody does, anyway. <laughs> But like you say, whether positive or negative, they promote you yeah. for who you are. Not everybody like luxury. Come on. It's not cheap. I think everybody does, but they don't want to admit it. It's not it. cheap. <laughs> luxury and cheap. Thank you so much. And uh, I would love to continue this conversation. But before we let you go, please, can you share um, one of the um, embarrassing things that happened to you in the light of letting go and laughing um, over nothing, you know? What was the most embarrassing thing that happened to you recently? Hmm, most embarrassing thing that's happened to me recently. Mm -hmm. 
You don't get embarrassed anymore. <laughs> the, the, the truth is I'm very shameless. Like everybody knows that. So it's not something that... You, you, it's it's, not I'm a woman that you say, she doesn't have shame. Just she leave care. her. She yeah. doesn't care. So, but... I'm just trying to see if something close to an event like that has right. ever happened. Right. No, no. Not really. Not really. Okay. So it's, you've been embracing it and taking it all in, yeah. accepting who you are, and that is, um, what's your advice to a young girl out there? Um, just believe in yourself. Everything starts with believing in yourself, trust me. Because if you don't, someone else will put a belief that they want you to believe in your head. And that way you would never reach or accomplish your goal because you are running someone else's race, put in your head. And that's where your life, that's where you stop living your life and you start living for someone else. That's when social media becomes all you want to do. That's when my lifestyle becomes what you want to live. There's some people who wake up every morning and say, oh, I want to be like Tonto. And I reply those comments immediately. I say, you better be better because you don't know half of being Tonto. <laughs> Yeah, you don't know half of being Tonto. You have to be yourself. You have to love yourself. You have to find something that... I've made so much mistakes in my life. And I will keep making mistakes. It's not the end. I'm just not going to make the same one. The truth is we grow and we all have to grow. I grew by having something that grounded me. I, I was never grounded by anything. I never had, a, had parents who would ground me. I never had a job who would ground me. There's nothing. I grew, I, I grew up from nothing to, to a very large life. So I was never grounded in my life. Well, having a song grounded me. Having a song would stop me from fighting if I have to fight. Having a song would stop me from cursing. Yeah, having a song would stop me from cursing you out if I have to really curse you out. Having God and having a child has, has actually put a stop to a lot of things in my life. So, I mean, if you're a young person out there, loving yourself is one. Promoting yourself and talking to yourself every single day of who you want to be and where you want to be. And finding something that grants you. Finding that one thing that would ground, that would keep you grounded and know that, or keep you in check. It could be a thing, passion, person, religion, or whatever it is. But you need to stay grounded. Something has to put you in check. Um, with Kate Present, which is please Thank just you. a little cup and say I share a part of me uh, in Women's Watch Show Thank with Clara. You. Thank, Thank you, you. Thank and you. Um, you. cheers. Yeah. <laughs> so that has been very wonderful. Thank you. And um, uh, we would love to have you some other time soon. And thank you so much for watching.